what's up everybody 915 bang here gonna do a video today gonna give you an update on my tank what's going on with the tank what i got what i plan we're gonna look at the corals and go from there i had a little bit of a time to get away from work and just hang out with the boy and uh we went to the zoo it was a school trip and uh this tiger right here was pretty cool wanted to be on camera so i wanted to go ahead and share it with you guys so go ahead and get yourself an adult beverage or get yourself some coffee kick back and uh, let's get into the video the other day i did a live stream and the live stream was when i got a uh, little toy from my buddy tim the toy was a laser you've seen this laser on malev's reef and uh, he got it for me because i had a little bit of an aptasia problem um, looks more like a lightsaber came with some glasses red glasses the glasses are really cheap but uh, they do the job came with a bunch of different assorted attachments and of course directions uh, if you guys can read that go ahead and translate it um, I couldn't so what you got to do is just get the paper and flip it over and then you can read it straight up in English so I was really happy about that so this laser is dangerous that's what it's basically uh summing it up to and uh to test it off i turned it on and i went ahead and put it on my wife's arm uh within one second she yelled at me and that was uh because i burnt her so let's go ahead and see what else the laser can do and uh, go from there Me being the cool parent that I am, I went ahead and let my little one go ahead and have some fun with some adult supervision. My wife did eventually forgive me for burning her. I did have to offer up my arm to so that she could burn me, but she decided not to. So thank you for that. For being a loyal subscriber, I am going to do a video for you guys on how I get away with a lot of stuff. Stay tuned for that. As you can see, I picked up a nice... Aquamax Doster, it's high quality. Um, I have been using uh, the Voss water bottles, and uh, my Voss water bottles I did were not fancy. Now they, you guys are hooking them up with uh, these nipples to stick your hoses in, and uh, they came out looking great. But you know what? I wanted something a little bit better, so I went ahead and got myself an Aquamax dosing container. We're gonna go ahead and hook this up later on. Um, but as you can see, guys, this is nice stuff, good quality, and uh, it's going to last quite a while. You just take the top off and go from there. I am still using Carbon and GFO. Before, I wasn't really using it. Um, I change out this media bag weekly, and I'm just using the, the Carbon and some GFO. Let's go ahead and get into the tank update. Start off with a little bit of top-down action. This is like my favorite. Uh, my tank though is pretty tall and I am standing on a ladder to to get these shots. Now as you can see from looking at the video just watching it yourself you can tell that I have a good amount of growth on these sticks. Um, started off with little tiny frags as most of you guys and uh, this thing has grown into a colony. Uh, I'm doing a top down shot so that way you can kind of see on the very top of your screen the tips they're not so uh, pointed and that's because they're approaching the waterline um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you here in a second but uh, they are approaching the waterline and uh, it's kind of cool because when I actually do water changes the uh, frags are sticking out so let's take a look on the other side got some green uh, birds nests um, the Coral that I got in the center, I actually got them from Mr. Budman, formerly known as 67 Mustang. Um, the purple stylo on the far left is also doing really, really good. Um, on the bottom of it, it's kind of white due to the fact of uh, it being shaded. But the top and everything else is looking really good. I should probably frag it. It's also one of my favorite pieces. This uh, Forest Fire Digi is doing good itself. Um, but it's more of like a uh, red than than the green. If you look really close, 
you can see a little bit of the green. You can see that the green slimer is basically touching that water line. Um, you can see the pumps moving and you can see that water. That green slimer is all the way up on the top. It's pretty cool. I probably will start fragging it a little bit uh, so that way I can share the wealth, maybe trade trade up or sell it. We'll see from there, but most definitely, guys, it does need to go get ahead and get fragged. Everything else is looking good. Um, in the tank, I'm still having my problem with, you know, the green hair algae. I'm going to show you how I took it out here in a minute. But aside from the green hair algae, I haven't killed any fish. My corals are still alive. Most of them, everybody is still healthy. Um, and everything, you know, looks good from for considering I haven't done any water changes. And I haven't killed any fish, so I'm pretty happy about that, guys. In the last video that I did, I was telling you guys about um, my future plans. Now, if you missed that video, it's no big deal. I'm going to tell you right now what I'm going to do. I plan on selling the 180. Um, I want to go a little bit smaller. Not too much small, but the main factor is I want to leave a 6-foot tank and go down to a 5-foot tank. Give me more room. It will let me do a little bit more stuff. And instead of running two light fixtures, I can just go ahead and run the 50-inch uh, Reef Breeders Photon version 2 that I have. And my T5s won't look so funny. Um, I was actually going to go ahead and buy the Aquatic Life fixture. Um, it comes with the four bulbs on it. And then just run my Reef Breeders in the center because the LEDs, I am not going to give up my LEDs. But I would need the 72-inch, uh, which I think uh, Aquatic Life just barely came out with it. But that fixture itself is like five something. So uh, if I go down to a smaller tank, you know, things are not going to cost as much. Uh, you know, bigger tanks cost bigger money, you know. And uh, I like to go ahead and just go do a five-footer and probably stick with that size tank for a while. In fact, my wife actually told me, if I get one more tank, I'm not going to be able to get any more tanks. And I told her that's fine, but I think uh, that means display tank. If I buy one more display tank, then I could still get other smaller tanks. Um, you know, I have this 180. I have my 12-gallon long, which I'm going to hook up. Um, I'm gonna, I have my 20-gallon long. And um, I'm planning a new tank, so we'll see what I get. I am looking at the Red Sea Reefers. Those are actually on sale, the 525, which is like a little under, comes out to 130 gallon. I've been looking at the uh, Water Box Aquariums. Um, and I'm also looking at SC Aquariums. I've had uh, several SC Aquariums before they got um, like mainstream. And... Uh, I liked them. I had the cube. I had a 24 gallon all in one. And uh, I'm looking at their 150 gallon. I know Rad Perez, shout out to him. Man, just got a 240. That thing is a beast. I can't imagine having a 240 because, like I said, bigger tanks cost bigger money. But just think about that a 240 with all those corals. But you would need a, like a ton of lights, a ton of flow. So that's why I don't really want to do bigger than a 180. So 150, 120 gallon, 100 gallon. Uh, I'm looking at something like that. So let's look at the other side of the aquarium. Everything is looking good. I turned down the flow. Now let me show you a high tech tool that I'm using. It's actually a turkey baster that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. Uh, everything is a dollar. And this thing is actually pretty good. Um, the other turkey baster... Gave me years and years of service, but it finally um, pooped out on me. So I had to go ahead and get a new turkey baster. In fact, I got two. The one that I show you, I, I put a hose on it, some RODI hose, and uh, I'm not too happy with it. So what I've been doing is using my turkey baster, just go in there in the tank and then just siphon out some of that green hair algae. When I siphon it out, I've been using a coffee filter. This coffee filter that I got is one of those reusable coffee filters with the screen, tiny screen mesh. Um, and it works great. 
he's that turkey baster guys go in there start siphoning things out and just squirt it in, back into that uh coffee filter and it works great i get all kinds of algae all kinds of crap but check this out the uh when i had did it my wife was uh actually cleaning the stove she had oven cleaner you know she let it sit that night then the next day came home from work and the house stunk it smelled so bad and the reason why is i blamed it on the wife's uh oven cleaner kept walking by my tank smelled like throw up i thought it was my protein skimmer but it was actually that coffee filter full of the algae that i was siphoning out i siphoned out algae the cyano put everything in that filter and it was the filter so i had to stick the foot in the mouth so long story short get yourself a turkey baster one of those fine uh, coffee filters it might work better than gfo because uh, i was able to actually clean up a lot of my tank but this is like a weekly thing struggle that i have to do um is use that turkey baster and then just siphon it and put it in that coffee filter now i was gonna go ahead and get some uh, stuff that my buddy t suro told me about he told me about some uh stuff that you can only get on their website or on amazon uh it's called vibrant but the stuff is like 30 bucks for like a tiny little eight ounce bottle um so i haven't got it yet i'm just gonna use the turkey baster for now but i am interested once i get my new tank and my tank looks like crap then i'll go ahead and start using that vibrant um trying to get some uh I don't know, have you guys used it before I go ahead and uh, try it out? Have you wasted so much money? So my, maybe one of you guys can go ahead and tell me if it's really actually good stuff. If you guys recommend it, let me know. Drop it in the comments below. But until then, I'll also be using the uh, vinegar. My vinegar, if you didn't know, is a form of carbon dosing. Instead of bio pellets, I'm just using regular vinegar instead of vodka. Just using regular great value Walmart vinegar in my tank. I haven't increased the dosage at all. Uh, reason why is I don't want to do too much. My skim mate on my skimmer comes out really, really black. And uh, so it works really good. Um, but maybe I could do it up the dosage a little bit. Now I would like to go ahead and increase my biological filtration. What I'm talking about is the Seacam Matrix, the Brightwell Aquatics Export Bricks or Plates, something along those lines. Um, because with that, it's going to help denitrify the bacteria, beneficial bacteria, all that good stuff. It's going to be in those little simple bricks and all they need is a little bit of water flow and you're good to go. Um, beneficial and I can use less live rock in my tank so the fish could have more room to swim around and my tank won't look all cluttered like a, a big old 1980s rock wall type of reef tank. I am going to go ahead and end this video here. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Um, remember the uh, soldiers, the service members. Uh, it's a time to remember your family, your friends' families, or your neighbors' families. And uh, it's not like Veterans Day. Veterans Day is more of a thank you for your service. Memorial Day is, you know, time to remember the fallen. So I hope you guys have a good one. You guys take care. Take advantage of some of those sales that are happening. And uh, I'm just going to end this video here. I was able to go to the Fort Bliss Cemetery. And uh, I really like the way that everybody volunteered and made it happen. Uh, they put flags on every single person so shout out to them guys you guys have a good one take care